Hello everybody, back in the garage again to do the next upgrade on the truck, which is a brake upgrade. I've uh, been having a bit of a funny scraping sort of sound from the brakes, um, only when they're actually warm, which is a bit odd. No problem with the braking, braking's been fine. So we've done a dial test on the discs, which showed a very, very slight warp, which probably is exaggerated then when the disc gets hot. Um, so decided to upgrade the brakes. I mean, it's uh, it's no real loss anyway if it isn't this issue. But you can't see any other issue, so it's indicating that the it's the discs that are at fault. Um, but I mean, with the with the weight of the truck now, when fully loaded on a on a camping trip, an upgrade is probably due. To be perfectly honest, because um, the standard well the brakes that were on you, I, I don't even think are genuine Toyota parts. So. Um, at least this way now I can rule out any problems with the discs uh, going forward. I know that uh, there isn't going to be an issue and obviously it'll, it should give me some increased stopping power. So as we can see I've already got the truck up on axle stands, wheels off, um, ready to go. Um, I've left the jack in place there as well, um, won't hurt, but there's axle stands under each side to give the front of this plenty of support while I'm working on the because uh, I intend to um, paint the dust brake, this dust covers, as you can see, they're a bit, a bit rusty, a bit monkey looking. So they're going to be, they're going to be changed as well. Well, not changed, but they're going to be cleaned up and painted as well to try and stop them rotting away. This is the upgrade that we decided to go for the DBA Extreme Performance um, with the T three four thousand series brake discs or rotors as depending where you are in the world and um, the kit looks pretty good i've got to be honest with you our first impressions i've, I've unboxed the pads and had a little look um, the discs themselves they do look um, pretty good i've got to be honest and, you know it's a much better looking disc than this on there at the moment. Um, obviously, they, they've got their unique um, kangaroo paw, as they call it, um, ventilation design, um, which keeps the brakes cooler. Um, and these are obviously um, the carbon fiber brake pads, um, which work up to um, really high temperatures, to be honest, which obviously, if you're doing a lot of braking, say, along long steady decline um, with a lot of weight on the truck that's going to help keep the brakes cool and keep the brakes at uh, their optimum performance to ensure that you actually stop which is always a good thing um, so i'm gonna try and do a little video here to show how i get these discs the old discs off and um, sort of give a little bit of guidance if i can um, to help anybody out there that's um, thinking of doing a, a brake disc upgrade themselves and we'll see how we get on with these. Okay so the first thing we need to do is get the old pads um, out from the car up here now. Makes it much easier to do when it's actually bolted in place. Trying to do this when it's unbolted and hanging free is a lot more difficult so get these pins uh, out and uh, try and get the pads out of the way so we can carry on. Right, so the little pins out the back need to come out, as we can see. Get these little pins out. Need to keep those quite safe, so I'll put those over there because I don't want to lose those. Like I say, these should come out nice and easily because I've actually had this all stripped recently. Um, as we can see they're just sliding out lovely so get this last clip out the way there we go so pads now hopefully with a little bit of a wiggle will come out a little bit of a wiggle here and we should be able to get these out. There's the one. 
as you can see they're not really worn down too bad so um i don't really know what's causing the issue to be honest but well, that one just pops up nice now uh, we'll give that a bit of a clean i think um before we uh put everything back together definitely worth a good clean up i think Okay, so next step now, we need to get the caliper retaining bolts out, which are down the back here. That's a 19 mil, which I've already loosened off slightly. These are quite tight, so there's a bit of a power bar on these to loosen them off. There you go, there's number one. taken out the 13 mil bolts here that uh, support the brake cable or brake line so I can get this out of the way strap but unfortunately it's the only thing I've got that's gonna be strong enough to support this up the way unfortunately so okay so he's ratcheted it up was on a bit of a issue there in the ratchet up so you've got that out the way now nice and free give me plenty of space here now so i can see what this disc is doing yeah i didn't think that disc was just going to pop off so we're going to need a couple of eight mil bolts i think to screw into the holes and pop that loose so let me just find a couple of bolts before we carry on I did give it a little tap with the hammer, but it wasn't having any fun with that, so I've got a couple of 8 mil bolts in here now, which I've started off. I just felt it pop slightly there. There we go. And off she comes. Wow, that's a bit rusty and corroded in there, isn't it? I need to clean that up and paint it up. Definitely needs to be sorted out. Right, we've got the disc off anyway, so let's have a bit of a clean up. Let's see how we get on with that. Okay, so we're gonna clean the hub face now so that make sure that the new disc sits on there perfectly. I've got this little device. Um tried one but it was a little bit too big so it was jamming. Um, in here, so I'm going to trim one, trim it down, but it cleans all that off there quite nicely, to be honest. Oh, that one broke. 
Not finished. Well, it's done the job there. The face isn't too bad, to be honest. It's probably because the discs have been off previously. Uh, so they've obviously been, this is all cleaned up from the previous discs were installed. But I get some uh, sandpaper now and clean the rest of the face up and get it all nice and clean, ready for the new disc to go on. And see how we get on with that. Okay, so after trying to clean up that brake dust cover, um, it revealed itself of being how badly rotted it actually was. Quite surprising, really. This is only a what is five, and a, yeah, five and a half year old truck. And as you can see there, look, all these fins inside completely rotted away and snapping. The only part that was actually holding on is the top there and that little bit at the bottom. So, gave a mechanic mate of mine a ring and he said, take it off because that's possibly what was coming into contact with the discs on odd occasions, which is where we're on the intermediate scraping sound. Wasn't really doing anything in that condition, to be honest anyway. So we'll see how it goes. If I need to order replacements and fit replacements, I will do. But for the time being, it's gonna stay off. Uh, not ideal, I suppose, but um, I can't have that on there causing any more problems. So as you can see, I've cleaned the face of the hub up as best I can. It's pretty good, to be honest. It was pretty good to start with. So we've gone for a full clean down. I've washed everything down uh, with brake cleaner as well. Just put a little bit of paint on the edge there where I uh, actually actually cut the top off. The, that was the only section I had to cut. <laughs> the rest of it actually sort of broke free. You can see just how much rot and bits of metal came off because I put the tray underneath to catch everything. And all of that has come off this here, which is not good really, but I suppose that's the salt on the UK roads. But a little bit poor in my opinion of Toyota, I suppose they could make a better dust cover than that that's going to last longer than a couple of years anyway at least. Still, okay we can crack on now and get the new disc in place anyway. Okay let's get this new, new disc offered up into place. There we go. So we're going to need to put a couple of the wheel nuts, I think, in place to hold this where it needs to be when I get the caliper offered back up. So when they go one. Two. Okay, so. That's all offered up nicely. Okay, so the colour is offered up and got both the bolts started. So get this all going to place. Get these pinched up nice and tight. Check the torque setting. See what the torque setting is now before I finally tighten them down. Okay, so everything's back in place. Um, just dry fit the brake passes, make sure everything's okay and they fit it okay. So it's time for a wipe down out of 
the desk. Uh, some brake cleaner. Make sure it's all the faces are nice and clean. Go around the back here now. Nice and clean there. A bit more brake cleaner. Clean the front face off. Let's get the back a bit more once more. There we go. All nice and clean. So now we can get on with getting the pads in place. They do provide you with a little sachet of grease to put on the top and bottom edges of the pad. So only a small amount. But uh, that'll be enough, I think. That's all it needs. We don't need loads of grease on it, so it should be fine with that. So we'll get on and do those, and then put a little bit of grease on, and we'll come back as I put them in there. Okay, so I've got these pads greased up now. Just a little little smear on each end, a little smear on the back as well to make sure we don't get any squealing or anything. They've got the anti-friction pads on. I just like to put a little bit there. It doesn't harm. Um, not too much on the ends either. Um, just as, just a little bit to try and help make sure these things are all free and moving as they should be. So let's get these slotted in now. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure when you put these in now that you don't get any grease on the surfaces at all, because that's a big no-no. So that one's a bit lovely. Yeah, the next one slipped in as well. Hopefully this one will go in just as easily. Lovely, slipped in there nicely. Let's clean those little bits of grease off there. Eh? Don't want anything going onto the surface of the disc. And clean that off. Okay, let's give these pins a little brush off. And give it a clean off. I'll probably do some new ones of those at some point. Um, okay, let's get these pins the top pin in should slide in nicely lovely job so we need the bottom spring in place other way around No, actually, I think I had him right the first time. <laughs> yeah. There we are, pin in place there. Get the little clips through the holes in the back. That's number one. Now 
and number two all clipped in so there you can see pins all in place pads gone in nicely and all looking good so we can uh, get the wheel back on now and um, crack on with the other side okay wheels back on all broken up i'll talk it down properly when i drop it down to the floor but she's running okay nice and free no dramas there um, get these bedded in now and then once i do the other side and go for a little drive and start bedding the new discs and pads in and see how these get on I'm hoping to be honest that how badly rotted that dust cover was on the back that um, that's possibly what was causing the issue with the scraping sound um, which is a little bit uh, sweet justice I suppose having to bought the new discs but like I said the amount of weight that the truck is carrying when we, when we fully loaded you know with everything on the back as you can see we've got the roof tent you know um, there's a 270 all on the other side um, and everything in the back you know the fridge fridge slide etc everything we need uh, for the camping trips there's a lot of weight on this truck so this isn't going to be um, a waste of money by any means um, so time to get on with the other side so we've been on the test drive and things all fine uh, done the initial bedding in on the discs as the manufacturer guidance says um, and everything seems okay all looks good so now we're just gonna take it easy with them for the next I think it was a hundred miles it says on the guidance um, let them fully bed in properly but they're all working fine everything is all hunky-dory and they certainly do grip they feel a lot more grippy already than the ones that were on there um, only gentle braking but they certainly seem to be uh, a lot better already and they've only and literally just had the immediate bedding in process done so we'll uh, see how it goes um, and I'll probably possibly do a review on them then later on once I've used them for a bit but other than that job done for the moment all good uh, thanks for watching anyway um, hopefully do a few more videos uh, of other jobs I got coming up as well. Thanks. Bye.